Now, the book of Enoch, man, this thing, there's so many people that are like, have you read the book of Enoch? It's like they haven't even read the Bible. They don't even care about the Minor Prophets or the New Testament. They don't care about any of the Bible. They just love to tell you about the book of Enoch because it's so cool, man. Look, it's a fable is what it is. Well, in the seventh chapter, this is what it says. And they taught them charms and enchantments and the cutting of roots and made them acquainted with plants. And they became pregnant and they bare great giants whose height was 3,000 L's who consumed all the acquisitions of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish and devour one another's flesh and to drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. But what they're trying to say in the context, they're saying there's these fallen angels. So that's who he was talking about. He's saying these fallen angels. He's saying there's angels in heaven that when men began to multiply, they looked at the women. They said, oh, those women are attractive. So they laid with the women and they produced giants. OK, so, you know, a lot of people say all oh, the giants came from these half human, half angel hybrids. Now, here's the problem. They said in verse two, these giants were the height of three thousand L's. Now you say, I don't, what's an L, right? No one knows what an L is. An L is the same as a cubit in the Bible. And the reason why it's called L is it kind of goes from the tip down to your elbow. So it's like an L, okay? That would be about 18 inches is approximately the size. But they're saying that these giants were 3,000 L's. That is 4,500 feet. 4,500 feet. Now here's the thing. That's kind of hard for us and our human mind to even comprehend how big that really is, okay? So I have an illustration with me today. Now, when we think of heights and different creatures that God's created, I was trying to see, well, what's the tallest man that's ever lived, okay? And I first looked up just who's the tallest man today? Like, who's the tallest person that we just know today that's still alive? And in Turkey, there's a man named Sultan Kosin. He is 8 feet 2.8 inches, so he was born in 1982, and then in 2011 is when they measured his height. He was 8 feet, 2.8 inches. That's very tall. And if you met somebody that, I mean, he'd probably be hitting the ceiling. I mean, he would look very tall. Okay, that's very tall. The tallest man in medical history, so this is someone that's not alive, but we have it recorded in modern history. It says that it was Robert Perishing Wadlow. He was from Illinois in the United States. In 1918 is when they measured him. He was 8 feet, 11 inches. So he was almost nine feet, okay? So there's a person not that long ago measured to be eight feet, 11 inches. Well, let's look at the Bible, though. Does the Bible have taller people? Look at 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 4. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. Now, again, we have the measure cubit. What's cubit? That's about, you know, from the measure of the fingertip down to the elbow, it'd be about 18 inches. So that would mean that he was about nine and a half feet tall, okay, approximately. So again, that's pretty tall. Now that's not that much taller, okay, than the, most, the tallest person that we have very recently, eight feet, 11 inches. We're just talking about another seven, seven and a half inches, somewhere in that range, right? That seems pretty reasonable. Now, then I was thinking about well, what's the tallest like living creatures, okay? So I started building a chart. I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you this chart. Well, what's the tallest animal that we have today that we know of? A giraffe, okay? So here is me. You might think this was a small child. This is me, okay? This is the tallest person alive today, all right? That's, you know, eight feet, uh, a few inches. This would be Goliath at 9.5 feet. Now, a giraffe, they can get up to about 18 feet, all right, so that's pretty tall. I mean, if I was standing there, you know, I wouldn't even be up to his belly, right? I would be, I'd be looking straight up to this guy. He's, he's pretty tall. Let's learn about giraffes. With long, long necks and long legs, giraffes are the tallest living land animals. Some giraffes reach a height of more than 17 feet. What about the tallest uh, dinosaur, though? Right, because they claim there's dinosaurs. Go to Job chapter number 40. Job chapter number 40. Because the Bible actually talks about a creature in the Bible that does not fit any of the animals we see today. But if we look at Job chapter 40, kind of in the middle of your Bible, look at verse 15. Behold now, behemoth, 
which I made with thee, he eateth grass as an ox. Lo, now his strength is in his loins, and his force is in the navel of his belly. He moveth his tail like a cedar. The sinews of his stones are wrapped together. His bones are as strong pieces of brass. His bones are like bars of iron. He is the chief of the ways of God. He that made him can make his sword to approach unto him. So this beast is something that we don't see today. I mean, nothing fits this description of what we see today. But there's a lot of people that, you know, talk about dinosaurs. And if you look into the science today, the tallest dinosaur is a Soro Poseidon. A Soro Poseidon. This is what he kind of looks like. Now, this guy fits that description really well, doesn't he? I mean, his, his tail's kind of like this big old tree, and he can move it around. I mean, if you saw this thing, you'd be terrified. You'd be like, I can't do anything against this guy. He just stomp on me. I mean, just one step and I'm gone. This species of veriform has been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hunt this thing. Why? Gallbladdedness, it doesn't apply. They're totally wrong. This is a warm bodied creature. This thing doesn't live in a swamp. This thing's got what a 25, 27 foot neck. Brachiosaur on 30. <laughs> Right? He looks so big, he could probably drink a river. I mean, these are the kind of descriptions. They said, by you know, skeleton estimates, he would be about 51 feet tall. Okay, so that's really tall. I mean, that's a five-story building. I mean, this guy is giant. All right? What about the tallest fish? And we're talking about if we turned him upside, right? So what about Jonah? When the Bible talks about it in Jonah, it just calls it a great fish. Now, we know another place it calls it a whale. But this is a blue whale. And by estimates, its length could be 98 feet. It could be up to 98 feet long. It's not that unrealistic to think that this little guy could be in here. I mean, that's huge. This is like a boat. I mean, most boats are smaller than this guy, right? But again, we're talking about 98 feet. Can you imagine a person this big walking around? I mean, interacting with other people? How is a man and a woman gonna lie together if it was this big, all right? So I was still thinking, okay, what's something that's bigger that's still alive? What about trees? So I looked up the largest tree. Look, the scale, it goes off the scale. I mean, the largest tree in America is 379 feet tall. It's a redwood tree. That is ginormous, 379 feet tall. Basically up here, it's only like a hundred, you know, it's basically 160, 170 feet. So, I mean, it's just, it's going up. It just keeps going up and up and up. So we don't even know where that tree finished. So to really illustrate this, I had to change the scale, okay, on this side of the chart. You might've been wondering what's going on on this side of the chart, right? Well, this whale, if you were going to draw him to the next proportion that I wanted, he's right here. I don't know if, I don't know if you can see him anymore, but this is the, this is the whale. This is the guy. You, it, it just looks like a mistake. It was just a dot, all right? So then I looked up, here's the 300 foot tall tree, all right? So we got the 300 foot tall tree, 379 feet tall. Here's the whale. Then what's the tallest building in Houston? Does anybody know? It's the Wells Fargo building, okay? So it was 992 feet tall. So it's this, it's this baby right here. I mean, look at the whale. I mean, the whale doesn't even compare. It's 100 feet tall. If you saw this whale, you'd be terrified today. Look at this building. So then I look, what's the largest building in all the world? Okay, it's a building in Dubai. It's known as the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa. It is 2,717 feet. I mean, look what it does to this whale. I mean, and then if it was you, I mean, that's ginormous. The Burj Khalifa is special because it is the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. And we are here to bring to the user this possibility to see this huge, immense, wonderful building inside out because it's the first time we are in this type of building in an Arabic country collecting indoor and outdoor. So it's really, I think it will be huge for the user to have this wonderful experience of being able to navigate through street view. They said that the, these giant men are 4,000 500 feet tall. 
Talk about some wind drift. I mean, you know, when he's up there, can you even hear anything? I mean, what's going on? I mean, this guy just taking one step would just crush the whole world, wouldn't he? I mean, this is, you're gonna tell me that the book of Enoch is God's word? Now, everything that we see here, you know, we're looking at examples in the Bible, right? I mean, is this realistic? Is this things that we've seen, we can measure, we can test? I mean, these are things that we've seen and observed as people. It all fits in with the Bible. The book of Enoch telling us there is people this tall. Are you kidding me? How is this person mating with women? Are you kidding me? That doesn't even make any sense. That's stupid. And that's what these fables are. They're stupid. They're trash. They don't have anything to do with God's word. We don't even give any kind of, you know, reference to them. Just ignore them. He's saying, look, the fables, they're so stupid. Don't pay attention to them.